Then, let me just prove it to you. If I had two ultrasounds, and one of them was a baby conceived in rape, and one was a baby conceived in consensual sex, well, of, of wh- course. Which one is it? <laughs> they they look the same. I, I do. I, I do. But understand. you can't tell because they're both human beings. Um, and in in Western morality, of which I'm defending tonight, doing something wrong after something evil is never the right thing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, don't be reacting to Charles Kirk debate pro-choice woman. Guys, let's go straight into this. Thank you so much for coming out here and for like facing disagreements first, I guess. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, I had another question coming up here, but I really, I, the bait is there and I have to take it. Um, okay. <laughs> so I am also pro-choice and I was wondering how, um, like you, you, you said um, to the previous dude back there that um, the government in cases where human life is at risk should step in through any means necessary, be it through mandates, be it through bans, things like that, right? Again, that was a hypothetical answer. Let me clarify it. I think the government has a moral obligation to protect innocent life when confronted with the question of someone intervening intervening to end that life. All right. So if a police officer is standing idly by and he sees someone on the side of the street and someone is going by to about to kill them, the police officer being an agent of the government has a moral right to intervene. I'm sorry, I do have to take like a little bit of a caveat here. So the behavior of the police officers in the Uvalde shooting was disgusting. Oh, I totally agree. Do you believe? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but guess what? I'm consistent. The cowardice that happened at Uvalde is the cowardice we allow to happen when there's a million abortions in our country every single year. All right. Okay. Okay. Which is standing idly by when children unspeakably get massacred. Uh, I don't know. I think there's a bit of a difference. And the analogy that I usually use or the question that I usually ask for life people is, um, do you believe that the government should mandate organ donation, even in cases of like things like donating your kidney? Or right now we have a policy where even after death, if you know you have like religious things where you have to. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's not me. Um, that's not you. No, <laughs> where you know your whole body has to be intact in order for like burial rights and things like that to happen. We say that you shouldn't have to donate your organs, but the pro-life case seems to extend to the idea that even people who are living should have to give up their kidneys to people in hospitals, maybe, who need kidneys. Well, I don't quite see it that way. Um, okay. but what I'll makes have... a uterus different? Well, first of all, again, in 99.67% of the cases, the woman made a choice that could potentially... But what about those 0.4%? What do you think should happen then? Oh, I think the baby should be delivered, of course, because I'll give you an example. Let me just prove it to you. If I had two ultrasounds and one of them was a baby conceived in rape, and one was a baby conceived in consensual sex? Well, of, of Wh- course. Which one is it? <laughs> they, they look the same. I, I do, I, I do but understand. But you can't tell because they're both human beings. Um, and in, in Western morality, of which I'm defending tonight, doing something wrong after something evil is never the right thing. So do you think that government should mandate organ donations? No, and I think it's a false equivalency. For, so? more, for more reasons than one, for a lot of different reasons. By by the question of, do I think the, the government should come in and protect innocent life from being slaughtered? Of course I do. Yes. And that, that's the answer. So, I mean, when it comes to mandating organ donations, I don't even see how that's applicable to the question. Because in 99.6% of the cases, 6-7% of the cases, the mother made a choice to be able to get pregnant. Yes. Now, in the very small micron kind of case, then... The case is that the, the, human, the human life and the human being needs to exist. So, needs to be, able to, to be able to exist. All right. I'm going to argue that different forms of birth control have, um, like, different forms of, like, effectiveness. And someone can, could be, like, potentially on birth control using those control methods, and it fails. Is that just a risk that, like, someone... Yeah, so I, I'm going to say something. Th- this, is, this is how far our morality has gone. We need to teach kids to save themselves for marriage. And a lot of these problems wouldn't be having. And if you do decide to engage in consensual marriage before, sex before marriage, and you get pregnant, that's the cost of the game. All right. Okay. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. That's fine. And I I really don't see reasons why people don't have pride in saving yourself from marriage. I know that there are a lot of reasons. Like, you get married and your husband 
is too small and your wife isn't as is it a friend's asset sweet as you were and stuff like this like marriage i feel sex is the only thing you can share with your partner i feel that is why people actually want to have sex before marriage yes to just be sure that we are compatible like when you have, you want to check out you want to check every thing to know that you are compatible before you get into marriage but like the bible did not say you check out sex but escape is i honestly believe that abortion is wrong and there is no reason why you should do it to be honest i know some people actually prevent it like some people prevent getting pregnant but like it just happened and they're like i really can't take care of this child and i know there are some cases where some girls have issues in the fact that if they try giving birth baby die and they need to take baby out but in that such a case i really won't say you should not do abortion kind of, if i'm being honest if i know my wife would kill my child would kill my wife i would not want to give birth i rather adopt but like those kind of cases i don't know if your wife would die if she could but we had a real about the child like this is something i i saw in the movie and the woman actually kept the child and she died and the child did but i'm a very selfish person and anybody i want to get married to i know i'm going to love them the whole of my heart and i will not want a child to take half of me i love children don't get me wrong but like i'm going to adopt i believe you don't know how your child looks like and if you're taking care of another child you can just call him yes and he will be yes even if you guys don't show blood though you guys tell me is this a good reason to adopt uh, to abort like, i'm actually thinking of what is the perfect reason for you to abort a child and this is the only reason like, i can come up with but guys tell me what you think about this video please tell me if you think i'm wrong or right guys i'll see you next time guys first